This video is an experiment in how the sun glare impacts full self-driving. Now I understand that uh, you know, every situation is different and there's millions of variables that impact how full self-driving reacts. The goal for this video is just to show, in some cases, just how well full self-driving works, even when driving directly into the sun in the morning. Here you are looking through the eyes of the full self-driving computer. Uh, this is the front dash cam as recorded by the Tesla computer. And um, you can get an idea of what the sun does to the vision on the system. It's actually quite surprising how well the camera handles the large dynamic range. The Tesla dash cam records the feed from four of the eight cameras onto a USB stick, which is located in the glove box. What you're seeing here is the feed from the front dash cam. So I'm gonna pat I'm gonna fast forward past this little section here. I'm just providing this as a reference, just to give you an idea of what it looks like when the sun is not directly in the windshield. And then at the end of this quick sequence, you'll we'll come up we'll come up to a wind uh, I'm sorry, an intersection, and you'll be able to see how FSD is still fully capable of tracking all the cars in the intersection, even with the sun uh, coming through the windshield. It's 8 a.m. on a beautiful Sunday morning, and we're heading slightly northeast. And the sun, as we're coming up to this, this intersection, there's a group of trees to the right that are sort of hiding the sun. And as we come out, as we come in front of those trees and come up to the intersection, you'll start to see the glare coming in through the um, FSD camera, the front camera. And you'll see that the, the in-cabin camera starts to saturate. But something to notice is that the FSD vir uh, virtualization, visualization, sorry, it's tracking the cars perfectly. There's no blind spots, it's working perfectly. So as we come around this corner, you'll see the sun just directly in the windshield. Uh, you'll notice that the dash cam, which is the FS FSD camera, what the, what the full self-driving actually sees, is doing a very good job of managing that very high dynamic range. The, if you notice on the ver visualization, you'll see that the camera's tracking the road just fine, no issues there. you also notice that the sun is in fact so bright that I'm squinting and I'm actually having a hard time as a human seeing. This, this particular drive in the morning is extremely rough. There are small patches of this drive where as a human I can't see anything because the sun's so bad for this particular stretch of road here. Now coming around this corner, there's a stoplight and the sun is directly behind the stoplight. And you can see on the visualization, if you look closely, if you pause it and look closely, that FSD is correctly seeing the green light. You also notice that it is correctly tracking all the cars, even the cars in the distance that are very hard to see, even when just watching the video as a human. Now remember the camera that the camera view the feed that's on the top, top right, that is what the full self-driving computer sees. That is an actual feed directly off the camera in the car.